what's up you guys <clears throat> um i had a horrible nightmare last night i was um it was really weird it was like i was traveling all over the country countryside something like that and i was looking for help and um no one could understand me it was like it was like i was asking for help but nobody would listen. I don't know how to explain it. Anyways, I woke up with a huge anxiety attack, so. Oh, hello, neighbor. N hello, Nina's back here too, say hi. Anyways, you guys, it reminded me of something that somebody told me once, and um, they said, uh, you don't need help, you just need to help yourself. What do you guys think about that? Do you think that we were born to be alone? Do you think that we were just born to die alone? Let me know in the comments below. And let's pull some cards. Um, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Alright, Ancestors of the High Spirit Light, what is the message? You guys, you can like the video even if the video doesn't resonate with you. You're, you're not manifesting something, you know, into your life just by liking a YouTube video, okay? So don't be afraid. Um, what's the message, please? Ancestors of the High Spirit Light, I swear, if <laughs> this guy honks one more time, he's waiting for somebody to come outside. <laughs> I used to hate it when people would do that. <laughs> like, just walk up to the door and knock on the door. <laughs> Alright, focus. What's the message, Spirit? Ancestors of Ice White Light. Don't forget to let me know what you think, you guys, in the comment comments. I'm really, I'm really interested to know what you guys think. Somebody's coming out of a depression. Somebody might also be coming out of a dark night of the soul. Okay? It's the end of a cycle with the world card there. I'm hearing, I am worth loving. You are worth loving. What else, spirit? Ancestors of the highest white light. So you can say that. I am worth loving. I am worth loving. I feel like somebody hasn't been sleeping well. Me last night. <laughs> what else? But that's going to end. That's not going to continue. <laughs> what else? Spirit answers to the highest white light. Well, this is an interesting movie. Or this is an interesting um, message too. Um, you know, sometimes we might have dreams or nightmares even, but it's important important to stay positively polarized. Like this morning after that nightmare, I woke up and I, I was crying this morning when I woke up. But it was an anxiety attack that I was having, okay? Just because the feelings in the dream were so profound, but I know that it's not, like I, I was able to calm myself down. I, um, I had some tea and I burned some um, incense and laid in the sun and I was able to kind of calm myself back down. So I don't know, maybe some of you are, have been having dreams or are having dreams and it's important to stay positively polarized, you know, towards the end just to kind of be able to, I don't know, get the lesson. Maybe some of you are, um, you have like a lot of lucid dreams. What else, spirit? What's the message, please? I feel like there's going to be some celebration that's going to be happening very soon in the future. Um, sometimes this might be, okay, somebody's feeling just a little emotionally exhausted with the Queen of Cups here in the reverse position, but I feel like you're going to have, there might be a love relationship that's going to be, um, so, okay, first of all, you guys, um, the Three of Cups, generally, it, it can be like a wedding of sorts, all right, because it came out with the lovers in the reverse position. This to me indicates that, um, I don't know, maybe somebody has been just like a little emotionally exhausted and um, it's making somebody depressed, okay? And I feel like that may have created a separation between a, a like a, I'm hearing a twin flame dynamic actually, but just take what resonates. I feel like it's a, it's a, it's a, um, it could also be a soulmate. Um, but with the three of cups, there might be, um, I don't know, like a wedding or, but, but you're moving forward. Okay. Either way, it doesn't matter. I just feel like it's, it's going to be time to celebrate very soon. Let's see what else is going on here. Yeah, it's just a nice white light. 
I am worth loving. What else there? Ancestors of the highest white light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You might be long distance, you might be traveling, or you might be wanting to travel, or you might be working towards traveling somewhere, okay? We've got, um, you might also just start traveling a lot too. I don't know, I just heard maybe for work as well, but um, with the Eight of Pentacles and the uh, Two of Wands, that's kind of the message that I'm getting here. I'm also, um, with the Two of Wands too, um, you're a visionary, okay? Like I said before, I feel like you, um, you have very profound dream states is the message that I'm receiving. Like, you can remember your dreams very well. What else, Spirit answers to the Light Light? Yeah, do you guys think that we were meant to be born? Alone? To be alone? Um, perception. The frequency of perception supports our natural curiosity moving us beyond our comfort zone to find the edges of what we perceive as real and to take at uh take a good hard deep look at it hmm. can you guys see that the lighting is so weird because it's early in the morning i get a beautiful early sunrise here on my porch but it, it does do funny things to the camera what else <clears throat> soul time. The frequency of soul time asks us to allow the possibility of a new reality to emerge. One that embraces the concept that while um, the corporeal body is mortal, the soul is timeless, limitless, and infinite. Hmm. Merkaba. The frequency of Merkaba supports our ability to use our consciousness to traverse into other layers of reality and dimensions. It activates our access to our Akashic inheritance as well, merging the totality of our experience into our present to serve our highest purpose. See, I told you somebody is doing some astral traveling. Mm -hmm. Closing out old cycles, outdated belief systems, right? Mm, passion. The frequency of passion reminds us that beneath every intense emotion lies the hidden gem of insight. See, so look at your dreams objectively look at everything objectively okay um, it assists us in finding the balance within this intensity moving us from chaos to the calm of its core where we can let its long-lasting wisdom fill us up and you guys this is the sacred geometry activations Oracle and we also have miracle the frequency of miracle supports our belief in ourselves as part of source and therefore our belief that anything is possible. If we stem from source, if we all stem from source, then we're never really ever alone, right? But really, you guys, I want to know what your thoughts are about that, okay? Are we... You don't need help. You just need to help yourself. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, okay? I hope that this reading helps. I hope that you guys are doing really, really amazing. I am sending you so much love. I'm going to go meditate a little bit more. I feel like I've still got a little bit of this residual in me, but I just felt called to do a reading, and I love you all so much, and I'll be back. Until next time, thanks for being here.